What's up guys, Brad here with Shiny Tech Things, where we tech things seriously. On today's show, I'm going to go ahead and go into detail on this guy right here. This is the Dell Inspiron 14 uh, 3000 series, model number 3493. And if you've seen some of my other videos on it, I have a video on why to buy it, and also another one on why not to buy it. And since it's been my daily driver for quite some time now, I'd like to go into a lot more detail on what is a realistic expectation on this laptop, as well as the different models that are available that you might be interested in, right after the B-roll. This model has a 10th generation i5, and the particular i5 that it has is the 1035G4. Now that is not available in all regions from what I'm reading. Uh, the G1 seems to be more popular over in Asia. Uh, the G1 is actually a step down in the GPU compared to the G4. Now there's also a model that has a i7 available for it as well. Uh, since I don't have that one, I can't tell you how good or bad that is when it comes to thermals. So on occasion, under heavy load, it might thermally throttle, but that is to be expected in most laptops, and if you look at my upgrade video, you can see the internals to the laptop, and the cooling is very basic in here, and until I get a thermal camera, um, I do plan on doing a video where I want to see where the heat is at, and what components may require some heat before I start building up a bigger, better cooling system for it and seeing what kind of gains I can get out of it. Now that's totally gonna avoid this warranty, but I really don't care, it's my personal one. So that's totally fine. Um, when I place this unit directly on top of the vent to my portable AC unit, uh, in my first video on this laptop, I actually show some benchmarks where I rendered a 4K Samsung uh, sample video down to just a single minute and what kind of times that I had on doing so, uh, whether it was with the bottom attached or if the bottom was detached on top of the air conditioning unit. With the bottom of the laptop removed and on the AC unit, you would think because everything is colder that it would actually perform better, but that was not the case. So that is one of the reasons why I need to get a thermal camera before I can try to start really figuring out how they designed it for airflow internally before I can make any modifications. Now to just go over a couple of things that might steer you away from purchasing this particular model is that uh, it does have a fast ethernet port on it. It is not gigabit. Uh, I solved that by just using a USB 3 adapter to gigabit ethernet, not a big deal for me. Uh, the Wi-Fi is okay, it is faster than the 10100, but it's not great. Uh, that's why, again, I upgraded that to a Wi-Fi 6 adapter. And I, and come to find out, the HDMI port on here only supports 1080p output. And several users actually uh, question about that and somebody told me that that they were happy when they received their laptop but then come to find out they couldn't output more than 1080p and they even had the model that has the NVIDIA MX230 I believe GPU uh, on it so I'm not sure where that is being limited at but on this particular model I did go ahead and connect it right up to my TV I even disabled the LCD panel on the laptop itself hoping to be able to bypass uh, limitations of inherited from the panel that's installed on the laptop itself. But I was still only able to get 1080p on my 4K TV. I did try updating the BIOS, and the BIOS file name actually contains uh, Vostro in the file name as well, which most likely is also meaning that if you were looking at the Vostra lineup, 
with similar specs that it probably has the same exact limitation. A lot of times they will use literally the same guts under the hood and just put it in nicer, shinier plastic and charge you more money for it. It's not always the case. They might add a couple features here and there, like a fingerprint reader. But uh, other than that, it's a lot of times the same actual hardware. The webcam on it is only 720p, but you can also check out a video that I made there, and I'll probably put a link over somewhere here or here to be able to uh, check out that video so you can see the quality on it. Uh, 720p is okay, it's not great, but again, what I originally paid for this laptop is like stupid cheap at 309. I know the prices have gone up significantly, at least to like 350. And I've seen it even as high as like 400 ish for the same exact base model laptop. Now, if you go over to Intel's ARC website, uh, you can actually look to see the price and release date or launch date on this particular processor was the third quarter in 2019. And the recommended customer price is $309. That's for the CPU. I got this whole thing for $309. That is ridiculous. Now there are some models that also have a 1080p display as well. So I will be looking at upgrading that display in my personal laptop as well. And you can expect a video on that process too, as well as links to what I end up purchasing. So. Who is this laptop for? Well, if you don't want to spend a lot of money and you want something that is just real snappy and fast, this is definitely a great model to look at, especially if you can get it under the $400 price point. There's not anything that I've seen on the market yet that can actually compete with this. So students, software developers, general office use, and most normal people should be more than happy with this even though it has the 720p display, depending on the software that you use. One thing that you can do to see if it would work for you is on your existing computer, change the display resolution over to 720p and see if all of your applications can go ahead and work within that resolution without any issues. If everything fits on the screen at 720p, then you're fine. Otherwise, you might wanna look at getting one of these or a different model that has a 1080p display on it instead so that everything will fit. If you like this video, go ahead and slap that like button. If you didn't like this video, go ahead and slap that dislike button. And if you found this video informative and helpful, then definitely go ahead and slap that subscribe button and click that little bell so you can be notified of other videos once I release them. And I'll see you in the next one. What's up? <clears throat> and I want to go over today that uh, like video editing 